guys, it's Jessica, doing things differently, and today I have for you guys a Romwe slash Shein haul. So this is a loungewear haul. Some of the things that I'm going to show you are just comfortable underpieces that you can wear that are going to be still cute, but very comfortable. And honestly, that's what I like when I have like a bra or underwear on. I want them to be cute, of course, but I also want them to be comfortable. And a lot of the things that are cute aren't really comfortable, let's be honest. I do have nine items to show you guys today, so I don't want to talk too much. But if this is the first time you guys have shopped into my channel, welcome. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you guys can be notified every time I upload another video because you don't want to miss out. And make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. So without further dabbing, let's go ahead and jump right in to the video. I made a list of everything that I got for the prices and the sizes on everything uh, so that, you know, I don't have to say, I'll go ahead and put the price right here, which I probably still will, um, just because that's what I like to do. The first thing that I have is a gray set. Uh, it's a pants set, pajama set. It was $4.77, and I got this in a medium. So, the top is just, you know, your average tank top. And it does say Cat Mom, because I am. Mm -hmm. And then my bottoms are just a pair of regular pajama bottoms. Uh, nothing really to them. Um, the fabric feels a little itchy. I'm not going to lie. A little itchy. Yeah, 95% polyester and 5% spandex. Usually, if there's any type of spandex in the material, it's very stretchy. But this I think that the spandex that they're referring to is only in the waistband because this material is not stretchy at all. Um, and it's almost like that itchy polyester, which I hate, but hopefully it'll be comfortable once I get it on. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to try it on. So let's go ahead and throw this on and see what we think. All right. So here is the first one. And while it looks a little bit big, it actually fits pretty well. The bottoms go really high, and I don't really know if they, this was meant for that uh, or like they designed it this way, but they're pretty high-waisted. Um, some people like that, some people don't. I guess I don't mind it as long as the comfort is there, which it is. Um, the shirt's super cute. Uh, I thought that the fact that they weren't adjustable, um, it would be bad, but it's actually pretty good. And the comfort. It is not itchy at all. The fabric feels itchy, but once you get it on, for some reason, it's not itchy at all. I mean, overall, I would say that this is a win. Very comfortable. I can see myself lounging around the house in this, doing dishes, you know, and it's cute. And that's a huge factor. Here are the legs. They're not, uh, they're not like skinny, super skinny, uh, but they're also not like uh, bell bottom or wide leg or, I, I don't know, they're, they're like a cross between like boot cut and skinny legs because they're not quite either one. But I don't know, overall this is pretty cute. What do you guys think? Here is the back. Yeah. I mean, not much more you can say about it. <laughs> I mean, it's just a great pajama suit and it's actually quite comfortable. So let's go ahead and move in to our next item. So this is our next item, which, uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's quite ugly. But when I saw it, I was like, you know, I can work with that. <laughs> So it's just a lemon print dress um, with adjustable straps. There we go. And it has like a little bit of ruffle detail on the bottom. So I don't know if they were just kind of going for that like really cute vibe or, you know, that like cutesy thing. And what I really thought was interesting is that it actually comes with an eye cover. But doesn't this look like super tiny like for a kid? I don't know, maybe it'll fit over my eyes. We will see. Try not to mess up my lashes. <laughs> All right, let me grab my paper. And this one was uh, in a size small, and it was $2.86, which, holy crap, like, that's so affordable. Um, so even if I don't, like, particularly love it, three bucks, that's a steal. So let's go ahead and throw this on. And see what we think of it because we could just decide this is my favorite. Loving it. All right, and here is the little dress, and I actually really like this. It's super comfortable. I do have some room in this, and this is a small, so I mean, it, I think it fits absolutely perfect. This does cover my eyes perfectly and comfortably, uh, and it was pretty dark actually, so I will give it a win on this little piece. It just looked really small, but it actually does work, so that's good. 
Um, I think that this is like perfect for one of those like hotter nights in the summertime and you just want to put something on that's comfortable but yet still not too hot because you know in the summertime when like everything sticks to you, you're super sweaty. This is very lightweight, uh, very breathable and very comfortable to just kind of throw on and relax in. So I give this one a definite thumbs up for me. So let's move on. We will move on to another two-piece set that I have here. And this one was uh, small. I got it in a size small, and it was $7 and two cents. But you know when they have those like <clears throat> those like two for 20 or two for 30, or I think it's two for two for 20. No, it's three for 20 uh, on Romway or Shein sometimes. Well, this is what I got. So it was I think it was originally seven dollars, but when you bought more, it went like the price went down. So they are a uh, little daisy short. And these, again, they look big, but I got them on a size small, so hopefully they fit. Um, and then here is, like, the little shirt that matches with it. And I thought that this was cute um, because you could still wear it as an outfit or you could wear it as a pajama set. So it's kind of versatile, which I like because, let's be honest, sometimes when you're chilling at home and then all of a sudden you got to run to the store, you don't always want to change. But you also don't want to go to the store looking crazy either, like half the people we see at Walmart. So... Just throw them out there because we all know we've seen them, and we've all probably actually been one of them at one time or another. So, I don't know. This is cute. Cute little, cute little thing. Cute little set. So, let's go ahead and try it out. All right, and here is our next item. And, oh, my goodness, this is my new favorite. <laughs> the first one was actually my favorite, but this one, girl, it is cute. And this top alone is just cute. Kind of dips down the back a little bit. So one thing that I don't really understand about these things thus far is that all the pants, shorts, whatever, et cetera, et cetera, that I've ever bought from Romway or Shein, they're all super high-waisted. And I don't know if that's just, like, because that's, like, the style or if that's because, like, I'm not reading the descriptions well enough to know if, like, things are high-waisted, low-waisted, or whatever. But I feel like they're all high-waisted, and they have this, like, bunchy, um, almost, like, too much material here going on in all the like, shorts that I've ever ordered from a Shein or Romway. So I don't know if it's like a thing um, that it's just like my body shape they're not fitting right or if, I don't know what it is, but I've noticed it, so I throw it out there, see if anybody else can relate to that. But let's get back to this. It doesn't really look like a pajama set, so that I'm super pleased with. Um, I don't like how like the shorts are kind of like wide. Like, I think if they were just, like, a little bit more form-fitting, not, like, super tight to where you can see, like, every nook and cranny on you, but just, like, a little bit more form-fitting, uh, not like a biker short, but not like this. So, somewhere kind of, like, in the middle, I think that they would just look a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more me, I guess. But Uber heels. And these daisies are just, like, I mean, that just, it, it kind of throws it all together. Um, really liking this outfit. This is definitely, um... <laughs> something that's going to be the under garment that are supposed to be comfortable. They're geared towards comfort rather than geared towards uh, trying to be cute and not caring if it's comfortable or not because you just want to look cute. You know what I mean? So this one was the uh, Love Bra Set, which it doesn't say love, so I'll use it as a size. It's Love Secret. So this one was in a size uh, large because I sometimes I feel like I have to get larger in the bra and underwear sets on there because I, I don't know, I kind of feel like they run a little bit small. That could just be me. Um, but I would rather something be too big, and I've said this many, many times before, I would rather something be too big than too small because if it's too small, I can't fix it. But if it's too big, I can always sew it or snip it or tie it or something to make it fit, right? So, uh, and this one was $6.41. This was also one of the ones that were in the uh, buy, you know, two for 20 or three for 20 or whatever that, that what it was, this was one of those. So I think I got this for a little bit cheaper. Um, and it is just, let me put these down in the show. Uh, it's just a regular 
bra that you you know but it has like a little bit of ribbed detailing in the bra and then it has a double strap that crosses in the back uh, obviously bras are always hard to show and then here are the underwear it has that um that kind of like ribbed effect which feeling it, it it's there but it's very 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 uh light to the touch and then they're just like regular underwear nothing to them so they're going to be like full coverage comfort uh, but still have that like little cute, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show the bottom. Uh, again, not trying to be too revealing, but it is just like showing a bathing suit. So, but we'll find out if it's too revealing. Obviously, I'll just throw some shorts on or maybe shorts on and go ahead and give you like the review of uh, how comfortable they are. Um, and we'll just go from there. So, let's try it on. All right. So, here we have the uh, set and it does cross in the back. And what's good about this is if you ever have like a backless uh, top or like one that kind of like dips, dips down, this cross kind of comes down further than a regular bra would. So a regular bra would kind of like come right above this and just cross just straight down or straight through the middle, right? And just go straight across. This one kind of dips down a little bit and gives a cross and also has that, uh, that like wording on it to kind of make it look a little bit sporty, almost like a sports bra or like a bralette that you would wear that has like a little bit of a, um, a little bit of lacing or like, you know, a little bit of cross detail or something like that to kind of give whatever shirt that you're wearing that is open more so um, a cuter background to look at. You know, you know what I mean. <laughs> so this is very comfortable. To be honest, it feels like I'm not wearing anything other than the stupid tag. It's like weirdly placed. Um, where did it go? Right here. So it's like so weirdly placed. Obviously, I can just cut it off, but I don't know why it would be there because it's super itchy right there. And this is a front clasp, um, which is really nice because uh, I prefer front clasp bras. They just make me feel a little bit more secure. And then, like I said, it does have the adjustable arm. I don't know if I did say, but it does have adjustable straps, which is all, always nice. And the underwear. The underwear are super comfortable. They cover me completely. They have absolutely no, like, butt cheeks peeking out. Um, so they're full coverage underwear, which is really nice because they're comfortable and it still looks cute. You know what I mean? Like you still look cute in it, but still don't make it there either. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my uh, little dress that I had on back on and we'll go ahead and move on. But this, I definitely give it a two thumbs up because the comfort on this, honestly, like I said, like I feel like I'm wearing nothing. It feels like a t-shirt bra actually is what it feels like, which is super comfortable. So let's go ahead and move on. <laughs> Funny story. <laughs> I just put this on last time I threw it over my head and I and then like I wiggled into it. This time I pulled it up from under like my hips and then I slugged, slugged my arms through it and my strap broke. <laughs> That's the thing. But it just like snapped like right off of it. And I can obviously fix this, but I mean, goodness gracious, this obviously isn't that good a material. If it's already broken within the first, what, I've had it for not even five minutes, maybe five minutes. So I'm just going to adjust this little guy in. <laughs> We're just going to move on as if it didn't happen. So, if this makes me oh, snug in there, and we'll move on. <laughs> yes, it looks crazy. I know. So, the next one we're going to move on to is a satin two piece pajama set. And this one is 478, was 478, I don't know. Uh, and I got it in size medium. So, this one I just thought was just cute. Like, this was just cute. This is one, okay, <laughs> let me set the scene, right? Maybe you got your significant so, other coming over. You know, maybe you're trying to look cute, but you're not trying to overdo it, right? So, you want to wear something comfortable, something cute, something that's not too revealing. Maybe you guys just started talking and you don't want to, you don't want to overdo it. So, you pull out this one, right? It has a little bit of lace detailing on the bottom. It has some cute little patterns for some topics talk about because of course they're going to say what's that on there and then you're going to be like oh it's just a milkshake and some french fries and some cola you know nothing nothing special <laughs> and then the top so the top has um a little bit of booby pads in them so that it kind of holds its form it has a little cute bow the little lace trim around the front give you guys a better look sorry my cat's meowing at me and then at the bottom, it just has this little black trim on it. Why it doesn't have the lace on the trim of this, 
I don't know because I feel like that would kind of bring it all together, but maybe it'll look fine. I don't know. But I just thought that this was cute because it gives you a way to look cute but not look like you're over trying. Because it's satin, it might kind of give that, like, vibe of what you're trying to do. But because it has, like, funny stuff on it and, you know, it kind of gives it, like, it gives it, gives it a way to where it's not – it's not going there, quite there. You know what I mean? But, like, it's still telling them that, you know, I'm trying to look cute. I'm trying to look cute. <laughs> but, I don't know. I thought it was cute. And it's also cute to wear around the house. And, you know, I mean, it's nice. And it is double lined in here. So, we have the double liner, which is also nice so that it won't be see-through. Plus, it has the padding in it. So, you're good to go. You don't got to wear a bra. You can let the girls be free. Be free. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and try her on. All right, and here we have the little satin two-piece. And this is really cute. And again, super comfortable. I really like how comfortable all these pieces have been because that's the whole point of having loungewear, right? You want everything to be comfortable. These shorts, I will say, are a tiny bit on the tight side, but that's how I kind of like them. So if you want something that's more loose-fitting, obviously, you would size up on this for sure. So I am usually a small to a medium. And this is the medium. So I would size up to a large if I wanted them to be a little bit loose fitting. So definitely size up on this particular item if you're kind of looking for something that's more loose fit. Because even like the leg parts are a little bit tight. Um, but not too tight to where they're uncomfortable. It's just like a little bit too tight, right? Or a little bit tight, not a little bit too tight, a little bit tight. Uh, a little bit more form fitting, if you will. Let me go ahead and show you guys the back. So it's just a typical tank top type uh, top. It does have adjustable straps, which is good. And like I said, it does have, like, the padding in it and the double lining, so it's good there. Um, it does keep on riding up a tiny, tiny bit, but the bottoms, like I said, have this, like, little elastic band, um, which make them a little tiny bit tight again. I could have probably sized up and got a large with this, but I have a feeling if I would have sized up, it would have been a little too big. I don't know. Just a theory. Because sometimes when I get a large in these types of things, they're too big, but then I get a medium, and they're a little bit too tight. So I don't really know which way to go with, with uh, Romway sometimes. I feel like I can get my size on Romway, but I always have to size up on Shein. So while they're super close in, in being like sister companies or whatever, the sizing does tend to be a little bit different, I've noticed. So let's go ahead and get into our next item. going to be another cute little set. This one is a just a regular blue type bra. It has the regular uh, clasp settings. And then the underwear are, again, their full coverage, just regular comfortable bottoms. So this one was uh, $6.41, and I got this in a medium. So hopefully it fits correctly. Hopefully it fits good because these bottoms are a little bit too small. But good thing for me, I have a daughter who is a little bit smaller than I am. So if for some reason this doesn't fit, I can always go ahead and gift it to her. So let's go ahead and try this bad boy on. All right, so here is the blue one. And this one is actually a lot more comfortable than the black one was. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's the fabric. Uh, maybe it's not. So I don't really know what it is about this one than the other one. But this one is definitely a lot more comfortable and, as you can see, more full coverage. So this is something that you can definitely wear underneath things and be, like, really comfortable in. Uh, the underwire is not like poking out at all. It's actually pretty comfortable in the color. I mean, the color is, is really nice. I thought it was actually really nice to see something of this color and this fabric um, on there because, you know, like I said, you don't really get that all the time. So I don't really have any complaints about this. The medium fits perfectly. It, while it looks small, it's not small. And the clasp is very good. It works really good. It feels like it's a really heavy-duty, strong material. If I wanted to loosen this up anymore, I can't because it's already at the loosest capacity that it can go. Um, so that's kind of a downfall. If I wanted to tighten it up, it then becomes a little bit uncomfortable. So, I mean, that's one downfall, but really, in reality, that's not much. So let's go ahead and move on and see what we have next. Have a 
top and bottom set. And this was, the top was $2.02, and then the bottoms were $3.77. So these two didn't come together, but I pieced them together because I thought that they might look good. I could be wrong again. I don't know. But this is the top. Oh, this is the bottom down. So this is the top. It's just a off-the-shoulder, um, one-shoulder, not off-the-shoulder, it's just a one-shoulder top. And then we have this loose strap, so then your stomach, will, it's kind of hard to explain, but your stomach will show a little bit here, and then you'll just have like a, like a looser strap that goes underneath, and it'll connect in the back. Uh, and then in the back, it's just like the regular strap. There's no, um, there's no like loose piece in the back. And then on the side, we just have that like one panel of white. So here are the bottoms that I paired with it, and they just say uh, Los Angeles. London, Paris, New York. They're just basic little uh, little shorts that you can wear around the house to the store. Really, they're going to be pretty versatile when it comes to where you can wear them to. Uh, maybe the top, not so much because it might be you might feel like uh, like maybe a little bit it's too revealing, or maybe it's just not something you want to leave the house in. It just kind of depends on your preference and what you like to wear, what you don't like to wear, what you're comfortable in. So I got the bottoms in a medium, and then the top I got in a large. And again, the top looks pretty large, but like I've said previously, things that look large, and then you try them on, and they, they, they're fit fine. So let's go ahead and try it on and see what we think. All right, so here's the next outfit, and uh, I don't really think it goes together, but for the sake of already having it on, I'm just going to go ahead and roll with it. This top is definitely too big. Uh, right here, it just keeps on falling down a little bit. And this, again, this is why I say if you order it too large, you can always fix it because all I have to do is pinch it a little bit, take it in a little bit, and we're fitting perfectly. So this strap, I don't know, it's kind of a little annoying. It's a little bit too tight. And then the top part is a little bit too big. So I don't really know what's going on with this top. When you buy one shoulder tops, um, they're always, they always seem to fit a little bit weird, and I don't really know what it is, like, and why, because, oh, I mean, they're cute, they always fit awkwardly. So, I mean, that's, that's a little bit of a bummer, but it's an easy fix, so we'll be good. Uh, the bottoms fit perfectly. There's not much I can say about them. They're basically just basic shorts, and they fit well. They're very comfortable, and they're cute. So, it's all together a win for me and my book. I mean, this has so much potential because it's super cute. You can't even barely see this white part either. So, I don't know. This could be, could have been really great, but half of it's good because the shorts are really comfy. I do wish the shorts had pockets, though, because that would have made them even better because anything with pockets is great. But, what do you think? This one was uh, $4.31, and this is in a medium. So let me show you the top. It just has little popsicles on it. It's just a basic, like, T-shirt, uh, nothing too crazy about it. And then here are the bottoms, which have the little elastic band top. And there's nothing to them. There's really uh, basic shorts, basic pajama shorts. This one is... Oh, it doesn't have the material, but it definitely feels like um, a cross between satin and polyester. So, but not the bad polyester, but the actual, like, it feels good polyester. Let me show you a little bit closer so you can maybe see the fabric. So, it's it's a little bit shiny, but not, like, overly shiny, if, you, if that makes sense. So, I have a feeling that these, again, are going to have, they're going to sit up a little bit higher. They're going to be high-waisted shorts, but... Honestly, it doesn't really matter because the shirt is a t-shirt and it's kind of just going to cover it up. So it doesn't really matter what the shorts, per se, look like as far as being high or low or mid. So let's try this on and see what we think of this one because this one is super cute. It's bright. It's fun. And I don't know. This one just seems like something I'm going to like. And it's going to be comfortable to sleep in, comfortable to lay around in, comfortable, you know, in all, all cases. I don't really know. If this is something that I would actually like wear out of the house and run to the store in, but it's definitely something that'll be comfortable around the house. 
uh, just to kind of chill and, and sit around in. So let's try it out and see what you think of it. All right, so here is the next one, and this one by far, out of every one that I've tried on, is definitely the most comfortable. And it's the most funnest. Uh, is that even how you say it? It's the most fun? Maybe that's the way. It's the most fun out of all of them. I mean, it's little popsicles with faces and little bites taken out. I mean, how much cuter can you get? Yes. Very, very cute. I mean, everything about it is nice. Um, I did tuck in the shirt portion of it just to show you guys, like, the short part of it. Um, but without it tucked in, it just kind of looks like regular pajama set. I prefer it tucked in. I just think it looks better. But then that's how I wear all my clothes. I always tuck in the front of my shirt and leave the back untucked. Personal preference. You wear it how you like it. <laughs> but for $5 or less than $5, this is perfect. I mean, you can't really get sets anymore uh, really under $15. Everything is super expensive now. So to be able to get a set for under $5, mind blown, right? <laughs> because then it becomes too tight and it feels like it's going to kind of ride up. But I'm going to go ahead and throw my shirt on to see if you can actually see, um, like, my bra through the shirt because it's a very, very thin shirt. So we'll be able to find out. <clears throat> and here we are. So pulling it even, like, let's pull it tight, right? You can't see it which is really good. You can, uh, yeah, you can a little bit. You can see that bump. But that's because this is like, so I pulled it super tight. When it's just loose, you can't see that at all. But does this bra look pointy? I think it might a little bit. Oh, I don't know. Which is good. 
because that's a struggle finding strapless bras that will actually stay up on their own. So that's a plus two. And this one's really cute. So, I mean, what more can you ask for? one uh, purple shorts because I wanted to see if it would look good and it looks good so it's so good so all some of these things can be versatile you can mix and match which is really nice to be able to do but that is the end of the haul what did you guys think did you like this haul did you not go ahead and leave your comments down below and like always I would get back to each and every one of you like always 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 I like interacting with you guys just as much as you guys like commenting so make sure you go ahead and leave a comment if you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications for every time I upload a new video. I do try to upload at least once a week. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It does help my channel very, very much when you guys do that. So please make sure you do become a part of the hashtag differently family. And as always, thanks for stopping in. And until next time, I will see you later.